morning everybody. I am super excited to be here again on day two of our um, strategy for success program. So day two of 10, um, we are going along nicely. Um, absolutely amazing interaction with your activities homework yesterday um, and into today. I know some of you um, obviously watched it on replay and are catching up, that's absolutely fine. Um, but obviously just wanted to um, just be amazed at your interaction, your um, open-mindedness, your taking part, it's just amazing. Um, so I'm really, really pleased um, with how it's going so far, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, today is um, part one of Vision, um, tomorrow will be obviously part two. Um, so today is about your vision and your dream. So we're kind of separating it a little bit from your business. Um, keeping your business obviously in mind whilst going through it all, but it's more um, about you, you personally um, and getting that side of it. And then tomorrow we will kind of join the two together and focus on the business area of vision. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, as of yesterday, um, I won't be kind of looking through the comments um, because I'm going to put this on the YouTube channel. So. Um, I will come back to any questions, so do interact as we go along and I will come back to any questions after um, the live video. So again, keeping really nice, short, kind of succinct um, lives um, so that it isn't taking up too much time and focusing more on the activity coming out of it than um, talking for ages with you. So um, we're looking at vision. Um, it's a similar approach to finding your why. So obviously um, we talk a lot about the why, um, why you do what you do to help you get through um, and push through difficult circumstances, um, quieter times, things like that. And it's kind of just a different way of looking at that or building onto that as well. So um, it's looking at what you want, the dreams that you have um, and what you want to achieve. So it's all down to you individually um, because every single person will have a different dream, they will have a different goal, they'll have a different vision for them and their businesses. Um, but again, we're looking at this in a personal kind of aspect to start with. So um, that's why I wanted to kind of separate it because I wanted to look at the um, personal dreams and then where your business tomorrow can then help those dreams. So uh, we are going to focus on the what and forget the how. So this isn't about um, thinking of something that you want to do and then immediately thinking, well, how am I going to do that? It's not about that. It's thinking about the what what it is that you want, regardless of whether you think at the moment you can do it, whether you have the tools to do it, forget all of that at the moment. It is literally the what, what it is that you want from your from your life and obviously ultimately from your business um, when we sort of go into that side of it. So I want you to um, dream big with this. This isn't just short term, what I wanna do this month, this isn't what I wanna do this quarter. Um, it's about the long term. So what is it that you are dreaming of? Achieve. So for example, um, you might want to have a new car, you might want to move house, um, you might want to renovate your house, you might want to be at home with the children and not missing out, you want to, um, but still earn with that, you want to, to be in a different situation to where you are now. So as it stands, where do you want to be? What is your dream? Um, whether that is any of those things or completely different to that, they're just some examples of the things that you might be thinking of. Um, it might be that you want to be earning a certain figure salary um, to enable certain things. It might be that you want to travel the world more, you want to have more flexibility in your life, whatever it is. Um, just imagine it. And as I said, this isn't about your business at the minute, this is about your personal life. So it's about where you want your life to go um, and the things that you're aiming for personally. So today's activities is going to include a dream board, but it's a bit different. So those that went to our recent team training event, we did um, a vision board, um, but this is slightly different. I've got a template for you guys to use um, and it just I'll put it on the in the comments of this live afterwards um, or on a separate post and you can print it off and I want you to write on it and then display it somewhere where you're looking at it regularly. It does um, overlap with business and your dream but it's just to kind of focus um, and give you something tangible that you can look at every day. So I'll put that up afterwards. Um, so that's one of the, the homework pieces. But this is going to... Um, help you relate your dreams to your business when we go through it more tomorrow and it will help align your goals to measure that success. 
So it's going to be in the middle of what we're talking about today in terms of the personal side and the business side, and it's gonna help you have that focus and that drive and determination every time you look at it and think, yes, this is what I'm going for. This is why I am doing what I'm doing. This is why um, I can do what I want to do. And okay, today might be quiet. This week is hard. Th this time I am struggling for time and balance and getting new people, all of that. And then you look at that board and you just think, no, this is why I'm carrying on. This is why I'm not giving up because I know that I can achieve those dreams. I just have to keep going and I have to reevaluate or I have to look at a different way of doing something. But that is my ultimate goal, my ultimate dream. And I'm not going to let go of that. Um, so once you've got that um, in your mind and your vision and your dream is there, what you want to do, um, as well as that board, um, and that board is only part of it. Um, it is only a template that I've seen someone share and I just thought it'd be a useful tool. But it's more than that, what I'm talking about at the moment. It's, it's bigger than that piece of paper. But imagine that dream that you've just thought about, that you've just written down, that you have um, been thinking about for the last five years, ten years. You want something different for your life. Feel what that feels like when you're there. So you've achieved it all. You're right there at the end of where you want to be. You've achieved that path. How do you feel when that dream is coming to life? So you've been working hard for 10 years to get the house that you want. You've been working um, really hard and really going all of your goals and all of your um, lifestyle choices have all been getting you up to that day when you move into that new house or you pick up that new car or you um, are finally able to be at home with your children and, and not paying for childcare and going off to work or you're finally able to um, use and work a business that can make you able to do a course that you want to do, able to become, I don't know, a vet, um, a nurse, whatever it is that you want your business to enable um, and everything else that you've been working for. Um, you've achieved, you've graduated that course, you're in your new dream job, you know, whatever it is, whatever your dream is, um, imagine how you feel when you're there doing it. Imagine how positive, how that sense of achievement that um, that success feels, how it fills your heart, it fills your um, soul with fire, how you are living your life, how you are going through day to day, feeling like you've really accomplished what you wanted to. Take all those feelings and just make sure that you hold on to that, those emotions, those feelings, what it looks like, what it feels like, where you are, what other people in your family feel like, what it means to somebody else by what you've done, how many people you're helping by what you've done. Um, all of that, all of that positive energy, I want you to just harness it and hold on to it and not forget that for a final second. You need to visualise that whole success, that whole achievement piece that you've just achieved, that you've been working for all that time. Imagine it and just pull it into you. And then... I want you to live your life as if you are there then. You're already living your dream. You have to pour it into you and you then pour it out in everything that you do. You have to visualise and live and work and breathe that success. So it may have come with more confidence. It might have um, lessened some anxieties. It might have given you more belief. It's certainly given you positivity. It's given you that sense that you know you can do this. You know that you can do anything. Um, and it will enable you to get there. It will enable you to 100% get to that end goal. If you can visualise it and you can live it and you can feel it and you can portray that and give it to other people as well because you're pushing out all the good stuff to other people around you, filling them with that confidence, filling them that, with that belief, then you are going to get to where you want to get to, 100%. Um, there is um, a lot of theory around this as well. Um, so, for example, Albert Einstein spoke about change in your viewpoint, um, how you change your viewpoint can change your reality. He said that it's not a philosophy, it's physics. And obviously he is a, a really accredited scientist. He's not a philosopher, he is a scientist. He believes that it's physics. If you change your viewpoint, you can make it your reality. If you believe that something will happen, that you can do something, that you can... Um, achieve all of that and visualize it and live it now as if you're already there you will make it happen it is physics it is absolutely going to happen it cannot be denied it's not just a philosophy it's not just 
cotton wool and HR and all the fluffy stuff. It is a real science behind this. Um, for example, Muhammad Ali always pictures himself victorious before a fight. He imagines what it feels like when he's won that fight, when he is crowned the champion, when he is um, throwing that final punch and he's knocking the man down. It's not the best analogy because it's not a very nice kind <laughs> analogy, but you get what I mean. He vis visualizes his win way before he gets in the um, ring. He knows what it feels like to win. He knows that he can do it. He can see that he's done it and he lives that and then he goes in that ring with the confidence knowing that he can win it, that he has already visualized that he can do it and that he will do it. Um, Michael Jordan, he takes every shot in his head before he even steps onto the court for basketball. Before he starts that game and steps on that court, he has already visualized taking every single shot, how it will pan out, how well he will do how he'll get past all the obstacles, how he will get that ball in the net um, and slam dunk it, whatever they do in basketball. He will visualize that and imagine it and feel it and know that he has that confidence to do it because he's filled himself with that confidence by visualizing. He's given himself the positivity by visualizing. He has thought about every single positive attribute to that game before he goes on that court. And he has already won that game before he goes on the court. It's so important to know that visualization is such a science. It's such strong emotions and beliefs and feelings that will power you through any kind of situation in your life, no matter what it is. Um, a positive mind is a powerful tool in your success, 100%. Um, so that's kind of the visualization area that I want you to think about. Um, I want you to start, we started yesterday talking about the negative feelings and throwing them away um, and that is so key and I really hope that you guys have really got into that. You, you have with the comments that I've seen and the interaction that I've seen so far and it's been amazing um, but all of those thoughts have to be out of your mind um, and you need to start letting go of limiting beliefs because they are going to do you no favours. The only thing that's ever going to help you with your business is a positive mind, a believing mind and um, hard work. It's the only thing that's going to get you there. If you start to believe that you cannot do something, you won't. You'll be right. You'll be 100% right. You won't do it. Um, if you tell yourself, I can't find a new recruit, um, no one wants to join me, I can't get a new customer, no one wants to buy it, no one can afford it, if you tell yourself all that, you, you're there. You're 100% you're right. No one will buy from you. No one will join you. No one will um, give you what you want to do in your business. They won't come to you. They're not going to come to someone that believes in this negative and um, portrays that. Because if you are negative to yourself, there is no doubt that you are putting that out into the universe. You cannot be positive and negative at the same time. And you need to be positive for the people that you talk to, the people that you interact with, um, the social media posts that you do, they will always have that negative underlying area. And I can see it when people don't really believe that people will join their team. I can feel it in the post. 100%. You have to believe it from deep within inside you that you can do it. That you have um, the skills and the ability to help people, to make a difference to someone, to add value to someone's life. You have to believe that. Because if you don't, why should they? If you don't believe that you're any good at recruiting, why should anyone join you? Because you're no good at recruiting, so why would they want to come and join your team? You have to remove that. And when you do, you will see a massive difference. There is someone in this team, someone watching this live, that had that negative belief and therefore was right. They didn't recruit. They certainly didn't recruit massively. They might have done some. But changing that mindset allows you to go out there with full positive energy and know that you can make a difference, know that you can help someone, and know that you can do it. And when that happens, you will fly, 100%. So, that's the kind of visualization, the positivity side of it, um, and the mindset side of it. Next, um, as part of the vision, I want you to think about your hobbies and interests. Um, your core interest is obviously fragrance in terms of your business, um, but beyond that, what else do you have interest in? Um, is it that you enjoy walking and being outside? Um, is it that you prefer the coast to the country? Is it that you love wildlife? Is it that you um, love knitting, crocheting? 
um, whatever it is, painting, any kind of craft, or um, I don't know if I can open it now, you love reading, whatever your interests are, I want you to, and this would be part of the homework, I want you to list down um, your interests and your hobbies outside of Sensi. Um, and I want you to really think about what it is that defines you as you. What makes you you? What makes you different from someone else? What um, combination of different hobbies makes you you? What do you enjoy? What do you love? What do you um, uh, enjoy outside of Sensi? What brings you happiness? What do you love sharing with people? All of those interests and hobbies, I want you to write them down. There can be it could be an endless list um, of loads of things, but I want you to kind of um, focus it a bit. So start with a massive list and then just pick maybe the top three things that really mean something to you um, in terms of your interests. And my cat is trying to climb on the laptop. Sorry. <sighs> right. <laughs> um, so think about what it means to you. And we will come to this tomorrow. Um, we will look at how that interacts with um, your vision for your business. But for right now, I just want you to think about what makes you you, what it is that your hobbies and your interests are. So that's it for today. Um, I will set your homework out in a separate post, but I will just run through it now as well. Um, so number one, what do you want and what is your vision and goals? So in, I want you to just write that out in a comment on the homework post. What is your vision? What is your dream? And what are your goals? Then um, I want you to complete the dream board that I put up. So I'll put it up in a separate post in the group and I'll also add it to the comments of this live as well. Print it out, fill it in and then uh, take a photo of it and add it to your homework comment. Try and keep it all in one comment. So wait until you've done it all and then put it into the comment together. You can put it in the reply comment, but it's just to keep the thread kind of working like it did yesterday. It was, worked really well. Um, and then third thing is to list your top three to five hobbies and interests. So if you've got way more than that, then just cut them down as best you can. It might be that some overlap. Um, it might be that you love knitting, crocheting, painting and stuff, but you also love a lot of other things. So just summarise it as crafting. Um, but just try and keep it really succinct that you've got a top three to five and no more um, of hobbies and interests that make you you. So that is vision, your dream, your dream, your vision. Um, day two, um, and that is it from me today. But tomorrow we will be looking at your vision, your business. Um, so we'll be taking some of the stuff that we've done today and applying it to your business and um, moving forward into customer on day four. Um, so uh, I hope that's all good for you guys. And tomorrow might be slightly longer. So I've kept to around about the 15-ish minutes today. Um, tomorrow might be slightly longer because it's slightly um, bigger piece. Um, as going forward, it probably will be as well. But I'm hoping to still keep it within 30 minutes. Um, so I hope that's been useful and um, I will put up the homework post um, very shortly and yes, don't worry about catching up on replay, there's plenty of time for you to keep up with the 10 day programme. I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye bye.